APPG stands for All Party Parliamentary Group. So usually these are cross party groups with um, Conservative Labour, maybe SNP, although for a London group, maybe that's less relevant to people in Scotland. I think um, London's planning and built environment is a really important topic. In 1997, Tony Blair said the issue was education, education, education. I think now it surely must be housing, housing, housing. So I do a surgery every Friday and sort of in one form or another, housing is always the issue. So that, that may be people who want to be rebanded in the council uh, housing waiting list, their band D and they want to be A and there's only 700 that turn over a year and there's something like 15,000 on the list. But there are also people who want to expand the houses that they have got. So sort of middle class people who can't afford to move, who have got different planning issues. Um, Neighbour disputes sometimes that they're overlooked by next door. Um, and then big planning applications that come across my desk that go to the planning committee at London Borough of Ealing that people are objecting to and they want me to object to it as well. I mean, some people just don't want anything built anywhere. Um, but then at the same time, Ealing is a suburban borough. People, that's what people like about it, the skyline, the spires, those sort of things. Ealing is looking different. People have complained to me about the Croydonisation of the Oxbridge Road. So even when you're in a suburb, there's a sort of hierarchy of suburbs. I guess the green belt is the elephant in the room as well. But, um, sort of if you can't build out then you have to build up. Um, I had a candidate who stood against me in the general election as a no to densification candidate and some of his slogans were we want to live in suburbia not in Manhattan. So intrinsically people don't like that. It depends where it is. Uh, I mean in my own seat I think north of the A40 used to be an industrial sort of zone. The BBC had a lot of uh, wig and prop departments and sort of <laughs> Um, facilities storage and uh, set design stuff going on. Uh, so that always was a bit industrial estate. We've got a lot of halls of residence going there. Uh, Imperial College, the University of the Arts. I think that area has actually improved, although they are quite tall buildings, but it was not, there's not, there is some precedent for that looking taller there. South of the A40, I think it's different. I think it, you have to judge all these things on a case by case so some, basis. Some buildings in some places, and uh, yeah, I mean, things. we can't just sort of always be looking backwards because we'd still be living in caves or something. So, I mean, you know, there has to be a balance. It depends where every application should be judged on its merits.